Hey, I'm on a job site here and I want to show you what some of these contractors are doing. They've got this uh, helix piles they put in for a grade beam and they're going to be putting a grade beam. I'm going to do another video on that, but if you look at the wall here, they finished their foundation and this is going to be the garage and they're going to have a garage floor in here. A lot of guys are putting the corbel block in the garage to support the floor. They've done it a different way here and I want to show you what they've done. If you look here, they've got, they cut out between the ties and put a piece of board over top when they place concrete for the basement. And that concrete now came to the surface. So now the, the slab is actually gonna be on top of that. So they're gonna take their saw, and they gave me their saw, it's this green short thing. It's some kind of ICF on it. Piece of junk, it's way too short. But anyways, they're gonna cut the foam like this between the two ties, the height of their slab, Then they're going to take their saw, their uh, hammer and they're just going to rip the foam out. I guess I could have cut deeper but that stupid little saw was too short. Whoever the marketing guy is in that company should get longer saws. But that, now you can see a cavity here. When they pour their slab, the slab will be up to this point and it'll actually come in here and they've done this every 16 inch and that's going to support the slab and now this rebar they have, they'll bend that up into the slab and tie the rebar and mat into the slab like that. Kind of a neat idea that these contractors have done.